Hello, we're going to use the four step process to find the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the given function at any point. Our given function is f of x equals 2x squared plus 3x. So the four step process, um, I've highlighted the steps here. So first we're going to write uh, or find f of x plus h. Then uh, we'll do f of x plus h minus f of x. Then we're going to simplify the quotient of that what we just found, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And then we'll calculate the limit as h goes to zero. So let's start with the first step. f of x plus h, um, we're going to find f of x plus h. So what that means is that we're going to substitute uh, x plus h. And I just noticed that I forgot to put, I did it in the second step, but I forgot to write it here. Right, we're going to substitute x plus h in all of the x's that we find. So um, that means that you'll notice there is a x over here and a x over there. So wherever we see the x's, we're going to substitute x plus h. That's 2 times x plus h squared plus 3 times x plus h. Now I'm going to expand the binomial x plus h squared. That gives us x squared plus 2xh plus h squared uh, plus uh, 3 times x plus h. And then, of course, we can distribute uh, in both of the uh, parentheses. We can distribute that 2 here, dun, 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 right, to every term in the first parentheses. And we're going to distribute the 3 to every term in the second parentheses. And then so our final expression for f of x plus h is going to be 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared plus 3x plus 3h. For our second step, what we're going to do is we're going to find the difference of what we just found, which is f of x plus h minus f of x. Now remember that when it says f of x, it's just talking about this is like literally the expression that we were just given, right? That's our original expression right over here. So we're going to just subtract those. Now you'll notice that one of the things that I've done, and this is really good practice, is to make sure that you always put parentheses around your initial expressions. So 2x squared plus 3x, I have parentheses around that. Um, I even have parentheses around the first expression, which is not as necessary, but it's a good habit to get into. So in the next step, I'm going to remove the parentheses. And you'll notice that because I did that, this now becomes minus 2x squared minus 3x. So not plus 3x, but it's going to become minus 3x. And then simplify and we get 4xh plus 2h squared plus 3h. Now, this last step is actually a little bit optional um, for step two. I don't know if that's how you solved it in class, but if you want to and you notice a common h common factor, um, then it's really helpful to factor that out at this stage. And that makes our life a lot easier in the next step. All right, so step three. In step three, what we're going to do is we're going to take the quotient, so that's the dividing, of what we found in step two divided by h. So 4x plus a, uh, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h equals, and notice that because we kind of, right, that's this expression over here divided by h. And because we already factored out the h, it's really easy for us to see that the h is going to cancel out in the numerator and denominator. So all we're left with is 4x plus 2h plus 3. For our very last step, we're going to calculate the limit as h approaches 0 for this expression. So what that means is we're going to just let h equal 0. Right, so we're just going to evaluate this over here. And we're just going to say, hey, what do we get when h equals 0? Now, if you've done this right, at the very end, you shouldn't have any h's at all. And um, we have done it right. So what we have over here is that, of course, this becomes 4x plus 0 plus 3. And we're just left with 4x plus 3. 
So what that means is that the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the given function is f prime of x equals 4x plus 3. I don't know if you've learned this notation yet, but that just means that that just denotes the slope of the tangent line. All right, hope this was helpful. Uh, please let me know if you'd like more sessions to work on your calculus. Thank you.